What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with another reaction of Attack on Titan and we all know the confusion <laughs> that has been going on for the past week. Um, <clears throat> last week's episode was, oh my god, the revelations that were revealed. I don't know what to expect at this moment but I'm guessing with this episode... There's going to be a lot of explaining, understanding, you know, what's really going on. Because I'm pretty sure that everybody's confused at this point. I mean, they dropped this bomb after we got this humongous victory. You know what I'm saying? For them to drop this bomb, which is which, which is to confuse you. You know what I'm saying? And it, it does just that. So, I'm going to jump into this episode, man. Um, not even going to waste no... Um, not much time on the intro intro here, but I do have something I want to tell you guys um, for the upcoming weeks. I don't know how long this is going to continue for, but I am in the process of moving. Okay, so it's probably going to be next month before everything gets back really on schedule for me. I'm in the process of moving into a new place, so I'm packing up and stuff. So stuff is in my in. in everywhere <laughs> stuff is everywhere so um i hate moving but it is what it is packing up stuff getting stuff ready to be to be moved so stuff are gonna be off schedule on the channel i will be doing a channel update talking about this and some other things but for now um just to give you guys a heads up watching this and you don't see me react to an episode when it's supposed to be out and stuff because I usually do this on Mondays. But today is Tuesday <laughs> and I'm reacting it to today. So I'm doing my anime stuff on the day the, animes, the, the reaction videos are supposed to be out. So I apologize, but I am in the process of moving and hopefully that will be end soon. So let's go jump into this episode, man, and see what it is. And if you're new to the channel... um. We do full reactions over here. The link is in the description for you to go and watch um, the full reaction. And then we come back here to hear what my thoughts are on <clears throat> the episode. So thank you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys back here for the review. All right, guys, here we are. Attack on Titan is really, really growing on me because, as I said before, I've said multiple times that these animes are just the story, man. Oh, my God. Ugh, the story. The story is so good in this anime, and I'm... It, they the spots that they choose to to tell certain parts of the story is just absolutely perfect you know what i'm saying like it's just absolutely perfect um no flaws whatsoever when it comes on to the story now let's talk about what happened in this episode man let's um, it's not necessarily a breakdown. It's more of a re review more than anything else of what I just watched and what I understand from what I just watched. Kind of going over even going over those explanations a bit before I jumped into this review. Um, you know, from what I understand. So forgetting what I said during the reaction, um, I was just going off the dome trying to understand what was going on at that point until i said you know what let me leave this for the review where i can kind of go back and look at this stuff instead of staying there for, thir for, for 30 40 minutes and the video would have ran for too long the reaction and you guys would hate me for it so here we go with the review from what i understand from going back looking through the episode and watching those explanations over again which could in turn just be more propaganda you know what I'm saying? Um, so let's talk about it, man. So we have um, we have Aaron's dad, Grisha, right? We we're, we're getting to know his past. So is um 
his sister, they ran off. We saw from the last episode where they, they ran off to go see the airship, right? So they get to where the, the airship is. Um, but before that, we have a scene of them bumping into somebody and them like, oh, don't you guys know you're not supposed to be over here? Whatever, whatever. Guy being an asshole, guy with a briefcase bumping over, right? So the reality is, is like, for me, it's just like I was a little bit like, oh, so they're like scorned somehow. Why are they wearing the harm sleeve thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is that all about? Which we learn later in the episode what it what it represents and stuff like that so they co they come out and they they get to where the airship is but there's two guards out there right a fat one a slim one i'm to find out that the, that the slim one's name is kruger right which we're going to learn more about later of course so the fat one took his sister basically because he realized and he's like yo just punish me give me my sister's punishment because I dragged her out here. So he was basically trying to say it's his fault, whatever, whatever, which it is because he ran past the gate, whatever. So there was a little bit of confusion from the last episode because I was like, okay, why are they not allowed to go out there? I was thinking it's kind of out at that point. I was thinking maybe it's the same situation where with airports, you can't just run out <laughs> on the airstrip, right? You can't just run out to the airstrip and be like, Oh, I want to see how big the plane is. You can't do that. It's high security. That's what I was thinking at the end of the episode. But lo and behold, that has nothing to do with it, right? It's a matter of them being this different. So we get to know after. He took his sister, he took the punishment from Kruger, right? Brutal punishment for that matter. And then he said, aren't you going, he, I think, I think Grisha was about to leave and he was like, um, you're already out here. You might as well see the airship, right? So he allowed him to see the airship, whatever. So, um, I don't know how long after that, it seems like it's the same day his sister was found dead, washed up on you know the river whatever it was was found in the river his sister is dead now as soon as they got to the room and this fat piece of shit started explaining stuff i figured that he was lying you guys heard me say in the reaction he's lying he did something to the girl right which is later revealed of course um that he, he's lying to the parents, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, oh, I, I took I took her home. I took her home and went back to work with this lying self. So I just found out later in the episode that he's actually, you know, how she died. She was eating, she basically fed the girl to, to, to the dogs. I mean, what a piece of shit, man. Like, so this guy... The lies and stuff like that. Like his Grisha's dad had an, a, a conversation with him because he was like, he's standing there. Grisha is standing there watching this guy lie to him, and he's like, the the the, the father is just eating it up and saying, "Oh, it's our fault. I'll make sure I teach him better and make sure he doesn't do this again. Whatever, it's our fault. Whatever, whatever." So Grisha is there standing up, looking at this guy like, "Man, my dad's a bitch." <laughs> I didn't even know it was like so the hatred started to bubble up the rage you can see it in his eyes he was really really mad at this guy this fat guy um and his dad too so he grew up basically um his dad had a conversation with him and was explaining certain things to him which it in my opinion it could be true it could be wrong because we know how you know how in this world how you know how people write history even in our present time in real life we don't know if most of these events in history books are true we we really don't you know what i'm saying it's it's just like you know people could write their own their own history to suit them you know what i'm saying that doesn't mean that it's the truth of the matter it doesn't mean that it's the tr the, the the correct thing that happened we just have that to read because we weren't there. So it's all about proof. History has to be proven in some ways most of the time. So I agree with that. So we have these issues going on, right? Where we're there, 
um, so his father ran a clinic. So all this stuff that he was explaining, talking about the Titans and, and stuff like that. And I could go back right now and go back to it. We could listen to it again, but I don't want to do that. Um, but basically what he was explaining about the, the Titans and not, you know, how they took over and all of this, all of this other stuff. I don't want to go through the whole thing. Cause we're going to be here forever listening to me on a 20 minute review of this. So, um, if you want to be basic about it, it's basically that they're a certain type of people. They're called aliens. And that's the reason why they're like, they're like scorned in a certain way in the, the, in in the part of the world that they're living in, they're kind of like scorn because they're, they have they're they can turn into Titans. So basically like they figured out how to turn th their ancestors are Titans. And basically they, they have been, um, they took over. There was a great Titan war and all of this other stuff that we found out later on in the episode and all that stuff. And that's what I'm saying. Like, me doing this off the dome is probably going to be a little bit confusing for you guys, even though you guys are probably going to watch a million YouTube videos that explains this way better than I do, right? Because I'm not that in-depth anime guy that has a channel dedicated to doing this stuff, right? But I'm going to give you the gist of basically what I understand from it, right? just off the dome not writing it down it's not an essay okay so basically you had um the the founding titan which is ymir i think they call him so they they were called eldians um so they um this founding titan made a deal with the, with the um with the devil basically made a deal with the devil to get this titan power right and to rule but as far as what we know from what um, when Grisha found out about this, he found out about another truth saying that, oh, that truth. So the, the Titan powers were used to help humanity and all this other stuff and how he found the, the other faction is like another faction there that was fighting against these um, Marlians. Right. Because the town that they live in is or the country is 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 um, is a a country or whatever town city of marley whatever they want to call it so basically even the titans fought against each other there were nine titan powers right i believe there were nine so there's nine titan powers so we learned about that there's nine titan powers out there right um which they they retain seven of them the marlians have seven of them right they have seven because and I'm guessing that some of them we don't even know of yet. So we know about the cart titan. As it, that's what we're calling it. The cart titan, which is the one that looks like a freaking baboon, right? Um, and on four legs that almost ate freaking... That came and rescued the beast titan um, back a couple episodes ago. So we got him. We got the beast titan. We got Eren. Eren has two of the titan powers, right? He has two of them. He has the... Um, I don't even know. If it's Rage Titan, they call Eren's Titan power the one, the initial one. And then you find out he has the founding Titan power too, which is the coordinate, right? So that's why they want back Eren so bad because they know he has that power. So now we kind of understand why they're always after Eren so much. He has the, the founding Titan power. And that's, we know how he ended up with the, with the founding Titan power, okay? Because Grisha went in with with the, with the, with the smackdown on the freaking um the race the the Reyes family right so we got to understand um how we met that he's the one that's in the photo right him and his first family we also found out that freaking Zeke which is the current beast titan um that his his son is his first son is his firstborn right um with Dinah Fritz when she's from royal blood um obviously the blonde here so I'm guessing that that um I'm guessing that Dinah is related to Krista aka Historia right I'm guessing that too because she's from royal blood um they made it a 
you know, <laughs> an obvious thing to make her blonde. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much everybody kind of from the Rhea's family, from royal blood, a lot of the women there has blonde hair. I wouldn't be surprised if freaking, um, what's her name? Lionheart or Leon Hart or whatever you want to call her from season one. I can't remember her name. Whatever. I don't care. She is locked up, crystallized, whatever. You know who I'm talking about. Female Titan. Um, so that's another um, power too. Right? She has a power. Right? I wouldn't be surprised if she's Annie. Right? Annie Leonhart. Lionheart, whatever they call her. Right? I wouldn't be surprised if she's related, if she's of royal blood too. I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, it is whatever. Um, right? So they found out that these people, these Eldians, they're the ones that flee to the island and build those three freaking walls. That That's the world that we're used to. We're not used to where Grisha is from. We're used to... Um, this island now we know what the name of the island is which is paradise island you know so ironic it's not really paradise it's what they named it right so basically the punishment for eldians is to turn them into these mindless titans because um that was the punishment right for them when they break too much of the rules they turn them into mindless titans and freaking send them over there send them over to that island to go harass the, <laughs> the people that we're used to, you, you seeing, like the, you know what I'm saying? So they just develop ways to fight these Titans. They don't even know where they come from because um, I think maybe only the royal family actually knew what the hell was going on. They knew the truth of what was going on, but they never told the people. It was like a secret. So that is the thing that um, that I think Zeke, Reiner, all of them has been trying to, to tell them about this truth, you know, which is, <laughs> it's a truth, but also a lie in the same, in the same sentence. So it's like, bruh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just crazy how there's so many things interconnected. And I said, if I should actually do a proper, you know, a proper review, um, cause it kind of seems like I'm all over the place right now, but just take the, take the points where you get them. Okay. Cause I'm trying to formulate everything as I go along right now, as I'm 14 minutes into this review. Right. So there's a lot of information, man, but I like what happened at the end of the episode, um, on, on the, wherever they, when they inject people. So um, just to talk about briefly what happened with Zeke. So basically, Grisha was trying to raise Zeke and to turn him into a freaking, turn him into a spy for the organization, right? Because um, he joined this organization. That's how he met Dinah, right? And basically, he became the leader and whatever um, because they were fighting against the, the, the system, right? Because they were like, oh, my people was the freaking bosses of this time and they basically ran us out of town now nah, we gonna take all our shit back and they were gonna rebel you know what i'm saying so he, he met dinah they had a son that's zeke right and it's so funny that during that episode zeke as a kid was playing with a freaking monkey toy i don't know if you guys saw that but it looked just like the beast titan i don't I don't know if you guys caught that, but I caught it. I saw when Zeke was playing with the monkey, the monkey toy. It was a little bit of foreshadowing and the end of things to come, of course. Because um, we know he eventually got the Beast Titan um, thing. So, so basically, him and Eren are half-brothers, right? Him and Eren is half-brothers. Because I was like, he knows Grisha from when we saw, when he saw Eren back and I think it was episode 17, I think, during that episode where Levi, uh, no, I, it's probably 18. I think it was episode 18 when they came over to rescue Reiner. Um, but he came out and was like, oh, you're, you're a Jaeger. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he was like, oh, I'm going to come back to rescue you. We were both kind of brainwashed by our daddy, whatever the situation is. So, so I was like, oh, you know Grisha. Okay, there's something going on there. Um, 
So Zeke was basically trained to be a spy, but he turned on him. He turned on his own dad. I, I guess what he was hearing over there was better. So he basically um, gave up his dad, told him all about what his dad was planning to do and all this stuff. So um, Grisha was captured, tortured to, to, um, to, f cause they wanted to know who the owl was, right? Cause the owl was a spy back in the, um, that was feeding them information about what is, what is going on, how they can turn the tides of this and whatever to kind of tell them the truth of what's really going on, right? With the Marlians and stuff like that. So throughout all of this, finding all of this information out right and they got on the bridge where he was receiving his punishment as, as in oh we we always send one human out um we always send one human <laughs> to get a head start right turn everybody into a titan push them off and then they'll um run after that one human that's still alive eventually they'll get eaten um we're gone we're safe right it's just certain things that happened in the episode I just I, I didn't understand and I'm hoping that they make it a little bit more clearer in the next episode because some things are still confusing about what's going on. Of course, the full truth is not being revealed. Of course, it's to keep you hooked and keep you watching, of course. So they're on there and it's, it's revealed that freaking the dude Kruger because it was like, it was years ago when he was a kid. So he remembers them. And he was like talking to the fat dude. It was like, oh, I remember you. You killed my sister. You fed him to the dog. And it's like, you don't even have any remorse about that. You know what I'm saying? So he was acting like an asshole, whatever, whatever. Um, so they brought Dinah out. Right? And he was like, dude, we made a deal, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You were supposed to be speared. You know, Dinah was supposed to be speared, but they brought her out. Um, so, cause Zeke turned on everybody. He turned on everybody except cause they, except the grandparents. Cause you know, the grand, the grandparents, you know, Grisha's dad, he a bitch, bitch. You know what I'm saying? He a bitch. So he's not going to speak out of anything. He's just, he's just, he just want to live and, and, and die in somewhat of a peaceful death, I guess. So he was there. He was saying some, he, he, um, the grand, not the grandfather, but he was basically saying Dinah was supposed to be speared. So fat dude inject Dinah, put her out there. And it turns out that freaking Dinah is the smiling freaking Titan. The smiling Titan that killed Aaron's dad. And she promised something. She she remember that she had promised Grisha. During the episode, she said to Grisha, it's like, no matter. No, no, not during the episode. At the end, when she was talking to Grisha, she said to him, remember, I will always find you no matter if I'm Titan no matter if I'm a Titan or from a person, it doesn't matter. I'm going to find you. I I think in some way that's kind of like, um, that's the reason why she ended up eating um, Grisha's second wife. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you took my man, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it was kind of like so ironic that she came back and eat Grisha's second wife. So... In a way, it's it's a little, it's a little too, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's kind of like you expected it to happen now. So it's like we have a different understanding of what's going on um, there. So it turns out he was there talking, was about to grab Grisha, and Kruger pushed dude off the wall. So it's so funny that... The Titan that was down there, the Titan that was down there, it wasn't Grisha because, um, it wasn't, um, Dinah, I mean, that ate fat dude. It was another dude that was there that he pushed down that was like, the guy that was arguing with Grisha was saying, I should have never trusted you, look at where we're at now, and he was pushed down there first, turned into a Titan, so he ended up eating fat dude because Kruger pushed him down there. And then, the biggest twist of the freaking episode, this dude is has been the owl all along he was the spy he's the owl you can imagine man 
that he's a freaking Eldian because he has the ability to turn into a Titan, which I don't I'm I don't know if he was the first Titan shifter. I I don't know. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. That hasn't been revealed yet. So <laughs> I really don't know. So but he turned into the Titan that Aaron's ticked. T- so basically, I'm guessing in the next episode that and it was a, it was an epic moment. Don't get me wrong. It was an epic moment. It was hype. You saw my face. <laughs> okay. It was hype. Because I was like, oh, this says so much now. Because now I want to know how Grisha, because Grisha was not, Grisha was not that Titan. Where did he get his Titan powers from? Because he, he wasn't, was he? I don't, I, I don't remember exactly. Was he the, because I know Aaron ate him to get the powers that he have, um, but did he, hmm, I'm trying to remember because I don't remember if it was that Titan power that attacked the race because it looked different. The Titan did look different, if, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but it could be, it could be, it could be. I don't want to confuse myself right now. I go into or try to remember that right now. But you guys get what I'm saying. It was bloody. It was awesome. Back then, when he trampled the races, <laughs> it was awesome. But as I said before, I um, it's gonna be interesting to find out how how the owl. It seems like that's the power that he gained. So I want to see more. I still want to see more. I don't want to speculate too much about what's coming. Not gonna go ahead and read the manga. Nothing like that. I'm anime only for this one. For this one, it's gonna be anime only. Um. So it's just going to be so cool to see what they reveal next, man, because we got so much foreshadowing, so much other things, so much information that we didn't know before. So there's nine Titan powers um, when they first turned the, with, with the with the injection, they call those pure Titans. Um, so. <sighs> Oh man, there's so there's there was so much information in this episode, man. And I'm probably probably going to if you guys have with no spoilers, of course, because I know there's a ton of people on YouTube doing doing these, but if you guys have see a legit great explanation about what we just the information that we just got, please send me that video. Of course, send me that video and I will do a reaction to it and we can all learn and have a better understanding because you know there's people gonna be gonna do in-depth reviews of this episode and what we know up to now so if you guys have something like that with no spoilers nothing from nothing further on in the manga just up to where we are in the anime please send that video to me and i will do a reaction to it and of course remember guys i'm in the process of moving so i'm not stuff are just not gonna be on time i'm tell you guys that right now because it's when i can do it I'm going to do it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. As always, this has been a long one. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace. Don't remember to like, comment, and subscribe.